What's going on everybody? It's your boy Jonathan with Poise and today we're going to be looking at how to start a blog with Shopify. Now Shopify is not known for blogging. As a matter of fact, it's bare bones blogging platform that it kind of comes with is not very good. Nonetheless, I'm going to show you how to use that and then I'm going to show you an app that I use to design blog pages that blow your mind. So let's not waste any more time. Come join me in the computer and I'm going to show you how to start blogging with Shopify. So let's take a look at the normal way to set up a blog in your Shopify admin. First click on online store and then go to blog post. From here you're going to click on manage blogs and then you'll click add blog. So we're going to be adding a blog about recipes and we're going to call it just that, recipes. Now down here on edit website SEO we can see the page title and the meta description. Let's add a quick description. Now we're going to hit save blog. Let's add our first blog post. So let's go back to blog posts on the left hand panel and then from here we're going to click add blog post. And so I'm going to go ahead and add a blog post that I already added on my other blog foodilium.com which I actually host on Shopify. So I've added a bunch of content and I'm going to name it. Now let's go ahead and upload a featured image. Now that that's been updated we have everything ready to go. Our SEO down here has been pre-populated with our title and some description. We can add a couple tags, chia breakfast bowl, and that list can go on as much as we want. Let's hit save. Now we're going to make sure that on visibility, this is entered as visible. Let's go ahead and click view. As you can see, it's a very clean blog post with a couple of images, and it looks really nice as far as formatting goes. But it's really not as sophisticated as a blog as some people would like and some businesses would like. So I'm going to show you guys how I use a page builder app to design blog posts that really just blow away the competition and rival a lot of other blogging platforms out there. You've now joined me in the Shogun page builder. This is where the real blogging magic happens. So let's go ahead and do a blog post and we can select one of their pre-built templates to kind of build off of. So we're going to use this bike template and let's do a quick preview. Now as you can see the formatting here is much better than your average blog post. You have a beautiful header at the top and then a layout with your image and text to the right of it and then this switches backwards to the other side. Now this text is a little bit off but we can easily fix that ourselves. And then we have nice outlining the text is really fragmented and broken up into smaller chunks for your audience. And then we have a nice little expert thoughts where we can easily add an author of the blog post and this awesome read next section down at the bottom. Now all of this comes pre-designed in the template and then we can just make our own little tweaks to make it fit to our personal blog posts. So I'm going to click use template and we're going to get started with this. We're going to name this test recipe and then we're going to go ahead and add it to the recipes blog and create the page. Now I'm not actually going to make any tweaks to the text or images on this page because I really like the layout and it would just be tailored to my personal recipe, but I can show you how it would be done. To change the text we just double click here and that can easily be adapted. With the image we would just click on an image and then select a new image. Uh, everything else on the page works generally the same way and one cool quick thing that I'm going to show you is how to add an element. And you can add some really cool elements and some really cool blocks with Shogun to kind of have a personalized touch on this blog post. So the first element that we're going to add is going to be a social media icon and we're going to shout that out in our blog post to follow us on Facebook. Now we can also add Instagram, Pinterest, really whatever we want here, but we're just going to do Facebook for now. So the next element that I'm going to add is going to be a form and this is going to be to collect email addresses for subscribers so that we can get them on the email list and then start sending them out new blog posts and other information and other offers. So let's take this form and let's add it right here kind of in the middle of the post so they're definitely going to see it. And then we're going to have just a personalized message on it like hey sign up for our subscriber list and we don't want this uh, message field because it's really unnecessary in this form. We just want to collect their name and email and go from there. As soon as we're happy with this blog post, we can go ahead and hit publish. Now I'm going to show you guys how to take the form data that we're collecting with email subscribers and export that list. So let's go back to the dashboard and from the dashboard we're going to click form data. Then we're going to hit export to CSV. Once we've exported that data, we can take that CSV and go into MailChimp and then easily upload that CSV and import it to our list for subscribers just by hitting import and following the prompts. Now let's say we want to remind our email subscribers every time we publish a blog post. From MailChimp, let's hit create and then we're going to go to email. 
We'll hit automated and we're gonna hit share blog updates. Now we'll select a list and we're gonna be sharing these updates with our recipes list and go ahead and hit begin. This page will ask you for an RSS feed URL and I'm gonna show you how to find that real quick. So back in the Shopify admin, let's go to online store, hit blog posts. And once we're in blog posts, let's hit manage blogs. From manage blogs, click on the blog that we wanna specify. And we're in the recipes blog. So at the bottom of the page here, we have a search engine listing preview with a URL here. Let's copy that URL. Then we're gonna go back into MailChimp, paste that URL and add .atom at the end. You gotta make sure you add .atom because that's what makes it an RSS feed. Now, as soon as you've entered this RSS feed information, you can automatically pull blog posts from your Shopify blog and send them directly to your email subscribers that you're collecting. Now, if you don't like the slow uh, export CSV method that comes with the built-in form in Shogun, you can easily add a different pop-up app and start collecting email addresses that way. I like to use Privy. I'll leave a link down at the bottom. And the cool part about that is that it can automatically export those email addresses to your MailChimp campaign every time you collect a new subscriber.